An then, NYPD detective, whoops, it is my turn. It is your turn. Sorry. An NYPD detective shot in the leg while executing a drug-related search warrant was just released from the hospital. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor live outside of Staten Island University Hospital with more details for us. Alice. Detective Dominic Libretti underwent several surgeries and had been here at the hospital for more than a week. Tonight, an emotional evening as fellow officers lined a path and clapped as he was released alongside family members. This 10 year veteran of the NYPD is finally going home after being shot in the lower leg beneath an NYPD ballistic shield. There were other doctors that initially saw him and did a very good job. Once he was stable, he came to our service, um, a plastic surgeon, and we did reconstructive surgery. And he did very well. And he's going to, you know, hopefully just um, get better and better. So a lot of surgeries, uh, a lot of pain, but he was a very strong individual. On the morning of January 20th, the detective was shot as he and other officers entered the second floor of a home on Rockney Street in the New Springville section to execute a search warrant related to narcotics. Fellow officers needed to apply immediate pressure to stop blood loss. As they did so, the detective held a ballistic shield in front of them to protect them from gunfire. Police fired back at the alleged 39-year-old gunman Nelson Pizarro and shot him in the leg. He was taken to a local hospital. He's got seven prior arrests in New York, a gun arrest in Massachusetts, and a larceny arrest in Connecticut. Police also took a man into custody for allegedly selling drugs and two women inside the home. After such an extremely difficult last couple of weeks for the NYPD, smiles tonight as they watched a fellow officer who put his life on the line go home to his friends and family. Now, Pizarro has been charged with attempted murder of a police officer, assault, and possession of a weapon. He's due back in court next week. Live outside of Staten Island University Hospital, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.